good morning students welcome to the class in the previous class we com complete completed the ambient illumination okay so today we discuss about the diffuse reflection the second method of basic illumination model is diffuse reflection okay so let us see in detail diffuse reflection okay diffuse reflection is the second method of basic illumination model okay the light that is reflected in all direction called diffuse reflection okay that means the reflected light is independent of the viewing position equally bright from all viewing direction okay that means in the place where you are standing or in the point where you are focus the object or, or you see the object that the reflect light is is same in all direction okay that means anywhere you place you can see the object but the light position with respect to the surface orientation is important to determine the reflected from the surface that means here the light position with the with respect to the surface orientation which type of surface it it is important okay the if the surface is roughy then the light some amount of light it will observe and the if the, and some amount of light it will reflect and if the surface is shining then the uh, then he can observe few amount of light and reflected much more amount of light okay in this way diffuse reflection occurs on the surface which are roughy or grainy that means diffuse reflection occurs the surface which are rough or green in this reflection the brightness of a point depends up upon the angle made by the light source and the surface that means here in this reflection the brightness of the point depends upon the angle of the light source and the surface that means which type of surface it is important and the the light so the brightness of the light and which in which angle it will reflect it okay when an object is illuminated with white light the original color of the object is what you we see as the diffuse reflection that means the object which is illuminated with white light the original color of the object is what we see as the diffuse reflection that means the light is white color and after the lighting falls on the object we see the object in which type of color that will the diffuse reflection if a blue object is illuminated with red light it will appear black that means the object is blue and the object is illuminated or lighted by the red light then it will looks as a black color okay that means the blue color and red color will be mix the object color is blue and the light color is red and both are combined it will looks a black color it will appear as a black color or in our in the eye contact we will see that it is like a black color okay diffuse reflection are constant over each surface in a scene independent of viewing direction that means here the diffuse reflection is constant over the each surface and independent not dependent on the viewing direction in any direction we can see the object or we can view the object it is not dependent on the diffuse reflection it is independent okay 
the amount of the incident light that is diffusely reflected can be set for each surface with parameter kd okay the diffuse reflection coefficient or diffuse reflexivity here kd is the parameter of the amount of incident light that is diffuse reflected light okay that means diffuse reflected incident light is the a parameter or variable is known as the kd okay where kd is the is between the 0 and 1 kd is near to 1 that means it is highly reflected surface if kd is nearer to 0 then it's the surface that absorbs most of the indian incident light okay that means it will be rough skin okay rough surface if the surface is rough it will absorb more light if the surface is shiny then it will not absorb more light okay and kd is a function of surface color diffuse surface or rough are rough or grainy like clay soil fabric these are the rough surface or grainy surface okay all of you remember these things surface which are rough means clay surface soil surface or fabric surface these are the rough surface the surface appears equally bright from all viewing direction these things also we will told you previously okay the brightness at each point is proportional to cos theta okay so here this is because here in the figure a surface is a perpendicular to the light direction this is the your light direction and the surface this is your surface and the light is the perpendicular to the uh, perpendicular to the surface okay and in b this is the surface blue color is your surface and the light is an is oblique angle okay that means in the first figure first figure means okay in the first figure the blue line is your surface and the the red lines the red rays are your perpendicular to the surface okay that means it is parallel but in the figure b this this is your surface blue color is your surface and the rays are oblique oblique angle okay so as the surface as the angle between the surface normal and the incoming light direction increases less of the incident light falls on the surface so we denote the angle incident between the incoming light direction and the surface normal as theta that means the in this figure if the this one is your surface light this arrow is your surface light and this is um, sorry this one is the light source and this one is your what surface if the the light source is coming to this surface and it will falls in this surface and then reflected in this direction then the angle it forms as a theta angle okay so here if the incoming light from the source perpendicular to the surface at a particular point then that point is fully illuminated okay if il is the intensity of point light source then the diffuse reflection equation for a point on the surface can be written as can be written as i this this things i diff l comma diff equals to k d l i cos theta or i l diff equals to k d i l n l that means here this equation all of you remember this this is the equation for diffuse reflection okay where n is the unit 
unit normal vector to the surface and L is the unit direction vector to the point light source from a position on the surface. And angle of the incidence theta between the unit light source direction vector L and the unit surface normal N. That means this one is your N, this one is your L. The angle is theta, this portion. Okay. So, all of you remember these things, this equation and the parameter why it is used. Okay. This is very important. So, this is your diffuse reflection. We can combine the ambient and point source intensity calculation. Ambient light and the point source that means diffuse reflection calculation to obtain an expression for the total diffuse reflection is ID is equal to Ka Ia plus Kd Il n into L where both Ka and Kd depends on the surface material properties and are assigned with values in the range from 0 to 1. Ka and Ia is the ambient light equation okay ambient illumination equation first is your that means here total diffuse reflection i diff is equals to first is your this one is your this is the total diffuse reflection equals to first is your ambient equation plus diffuse reflection equation these two are when combined then the total diffuse reflection will be come out okay so this is your diffuse reflection concept of basic illumination model okay